Hi YouTube, hi everyone. I just want to share something with you. I've got a bit of asthma today, but that's not what I wanted to share. Last night I made some new beers. And this is my uh, uh, hot chocolate holder that my nephew made. You know, that technique, wood burning at school or the etching or whatever. Yeah, so I wanted to share these beers with you last night, but I was too tired, so I couldn't. So I used a um, good old blue roll. I had these previously cut about 16 to 18 of them. And then I designed some more, and also I used some other dice. And I used some hunky dory papers, or Christmas papers. So all my new dies in there and uh, so I cut them out in various colours and Mr. Snuggles and other beers as well and then I just want to show you what I made and I work on my new table it's called a C table you can slide it under your bed but mine's a little too short it doesn't really slide under the bed so I just work from the bed, it's just here, and you can plug it in, it's got a little plugger, and you can plug it in as well. Yeah, so, um, I, I hope you guys watched, um, CPR, Craft, Pray, Repeat, Sherry, well I learned this trick from her, and it's sad to say that she passed about, uh, two years ago so I found out only a couple of days ago myself so I felt really sad about that and uh, I used to learn lots of um, techniques from her well, I hope she's a uh, you know with God now and stuff so I'll just share my beers <laughs> they're all there waiting <laughs> to be introduced so I'll show you the ones that I just made before and then just pot it into pot plants or something. This one's loose, so this is the pot plant. These are some of my new dyes and some of my old dyes that I'm using. So he's just loose but I'm going to put him in there. like a bit up like that so it looks like he's peeking out of the potted plant and then I've got um, this one he's at oh no I'll show you this one first this one he's got two pay on because the top of his head got chopped off didn't cut properly so I added a two pay on him and he's holding a balloon and then I've got this one. So I just added a skirt on her. Last time she was wearing just a bib. And now she's wearing a skirt as well. I love these little old bears. They're so fun. And then, um, so then now I'll show you the new ones. So I've got a really cute one. One second. Well, they're all cute. This one's peeking out from a circle. An aperture. I had to put that connector on to connect him to the aperture with glue, strong glue, my glue pen. Not the quickie glue pen, the other one. It's so cute. And um, see those eyes? That's a glaze pen. So that's what I learned from Sherry and other techniques. And then I'll show you more of the glaze. Hopefully it's still glazy. I like this one. It's so cute. So use the glaze pen on him. Oh yeah, there you go. That's the glaze pen from Amazon. It's £3.81 when I bought it just for one pen. But it's definitely worth it. And you get this really nice shine. Like embossed look. So he's sitting in the um, plant pot peeking out. And I had to attach him... Um, his body with this little dress piece from another die. 
And then, um, then I've got these ones, these ones, so this one, he, he's also got the greys. He's sitting in a mug, a Christmas mug. These are hunky dory papers from their Christmas pack. I bought a magazine pack once, a special or full of something. And then I got another one of them. I added attachment there just to keep the bear in place because the top part of this mug was uh, folding apart. It wasn't so sturdy. There's the greys again. And then, oh, let me show you my best one. So this one was, uh, see that Christmas? Card. That's Hunky Dory cardstock from the Christmas pack that I'm talking about. He's just waving and looking sad. <laughs> He's got a dicky bow on. And Clay's eyes. That's clearly Lou Rog paper. See? Lou Rog paper or card, whatever you want to call it. And I didn't cut his body off. He's still, you know, like that. You can take him out. He's not attached with glue or anything. He's so cute. Then, um, we have this one. Yes, yeah, so some of them have only attached one arm so they can hold something. That's a snowman from God, from Hunky Dory card. With glazed eyes. Glazed eyes and nose, hopefully you can see that. Glazed eyes. Should be glazed nose, but so cute. He's just loose in there. I didn't stick him down. Then I got this one. Um, just one arm holding a really nice, pretty flower. And then I got this one cut from my uh, Sizzix cardstock. You know the bare colours nature colors you know and uh she's got a skirt on <laughs> i'll just stuck it at the back and she's holding on to her skirt i don't know why she seems worried look she's like Ooh. But yeah and then got this one holding on to love heart so the glue dries fast but um when it does pop out so it sort of soaks into the cardstock, which I can then my thumb now. Yeah. Still hard to pick um, paper up and stuff, but I can bend it. That's good. Yeah, and then I got these two. So he's held in a milkshake cup. Glass, sorry, milkshake cut a glass. And then his partner, or her partner, is holding <laughs> one as she's already finished hers and she's got a different colour arm but she's finished her milkshake already and then this one's still drinking his that's like a his and her the arm's going that way and the arm's going that way yeah so I had so much fun making these and I'm just collecting more loo rolls now instead of throwing them in the recycling bin. Although I've got lots of card from Sizzix, like natural bear colour cards, and I can start using them as well. So I really like them. Um, this card cuts so well. And they're bear colours already. And uh, yeah, just oh yeah this is the one it's textured i've got some of it here textured sizzix cardstock it's about 12 pound 98 for 60 sheets uh, 60 back all different colors from amazon i don't have affiliate links anymore so i can't share them with you uh yeah so give me a thumbs up if you liked these you enjoyed them hopefully you'll make some yourself yeah look at this so cute 
I like to leave some of the beers like white instead of just brown. Yeah, like a polar beer or a white beer, a hybrid beer, any type, you know. So cute. I'm gonna do a beer pack for my um, Amazon shop soon. They'll just be white beers and then you can colour them in with your inks or your uh, marker, marker pens, Copic and other alcohol marker pens. So that's it. Thumbs up please if you like this and you learn something new and stuff. Okay, take care, make something nice yourself. Give it away as a gift and stuff. Take care, God bless.